So uh, in this video, we're going to be going over a non-ideal operation amplifier uh, that you can see in this figure right here. And uh, in this case, uh, it's a non-inverting amplifier, and it has an input resistance of 560 kilo ohms, an output resistance of 8 kilo ohms, and an open loop gain of 50,000. Uh, assume that the op amp is operating in its linear region. So first we're going to do part A and calculate the voltage gain. So it's V0 or V0, which is right here, uh, over VG, which is our uh, like incoming voltage source. And in part B, we're going to find the inverting and non-inverting input voltages Vn and Vp in millivolts if Vg is equal to 1 volt. So if this voltage source is equal to 1 volt. So uh, before we jump into this problem, I'm just going to kind of redraw the circuit that they uh, that is originally given to us in this problem um, because they don't show a few things that are key in solving this problem, namely the input resistance, uh, the output resistance, and the open loop gain. Uh, so I'm just going to redraw this. So this is what, essentially what the um, non-ideal operating amplifier looks like. Um, we have the same resistor here, which is our 16 kilo ohm. Uh, 200 kilo ohm up here. I'm just going to write 200k. Um, the 240 down here, 240k, and the uh, VG is the same down here, uh, and then the 20k uh, ohm resistor over here. So the only thing that changes is inside you see that we have two more resistors. This is going to be our RN, uh, when they say uh, in the original question, an input resistance of 560 kilo ohms. This is the input resistance, we'll just call it Ri for Rn. And it says we also have an output resistance of 8 kilo ohms. The output resistance is resistor on the output side, which is just, we'll just say Ro. So, uh, so input resistance Rn, or Ri we said, and output Ro. And then you also see there's a uh, voltage source. And we'll just label that. We'll just label that V A. So and V A is just going to be e equal to um, our A value that we're given in this original equation. So in this case, the open loop gain of fifty thousand. That gain is just A. So we're just going to say A times uh, Vp minus Vn. And of course, in other problems, you'll know that uh, Vp is just a voltage of the positive of the uh, operation amplifier, and Vn is just V negative, so negative terminal of the operating amplifier. So Va is always, this is just like a generic equation, A times Vp minus Vn. So and our RI value is given as 560k, and our R out value is given as 8k, and of course ohms. So, first, we have to calculate the voltage gain VO over VG. So to get VO, we're just getting usually really basic nodal analysis. Uh, so we'll call this node node 1, and we'll call this node down here uh, node 2. So at node 1, what do we have? At node 1, we have a current going, we're just going to assume that all current uh, is leaving. So we have Vn minus, uh, this arrow represents common ground, so Vn minus 0. Vn minus 0 is just Vn, divided by resistance, which is just 16k. Plus, uh, Vn, our next current, minus the next voltage, uh, Vg, over Ri plus this 240 kilo ohm source. So we have plus Vn minus Vg over uh, 240 plus 560k is just going to be 800k. Again, that's this resistor plus this resistor. 
plus our last current we assume is leaving is just Vn minus this node right here, which we know since this is already labeled as V0, this node must be V0. So our last current is Vn minus V0 over 200k. I want to just write that here. Vn minus V0 over 200k. Okay. And if we simplify this, what do we get? And of course, all of these are equal to zero. And if we simplify this, uh, let's see. Let's sum up all of the Vn's first. We have 1 over 16k plus 1 over 800k plus 1 over 200k all times Vn. And we're left with um, v, negative Vg over 800k. So I'm just going to move that to the other side along with this uh, negative V0 over 200k. So on the right side, we're just going to have positive now Vg over 800k plus V0 over, eight, uh, over 200k now. V0 over 200k. So if we go ahead and simplify that, simplify um, all of this in here and, uh, and multiply everything out, we're just going to get the final equation of 55Vn is equal to 4V0 plus Vg. And we're just going to label that um, as equation as equation 1. So now uh, I have one equation. I have one equation uh, in which consists of Vn v0 and vg, but um, to find the actual gain v0 over vg, I'm going to need another equation. And luckily, you know, we have another uh, node right here. So now I'm just going to start doing nodal analysis on node 2.